All right, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Been a little bit. Sure has. But I'm out. And uh, everything's working good on the uh, Brute Force 750. Got sick of sitting around the house today, even though it's rainy and misty, as you're going to see on the uh, on the GoPro lens. I grabbed us uh, I grabbed us a little lunch, and I decided to take take us out for a little tiny trail lunch just to get out and get some fresh air. Me and uh, me and Mrs. Brute, and uh, we're just off uh, exit 5A in Tantallon. And we're gonna zip up past the we're gonna zip up past the sand pit down by uh, down by the dam and heat up a can of chili. Got a little bit of nan bread to go with it, and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see how it goes. So for here we got to put her in four wheel drive, and we're gonna go up here. I'm sure most of you that watch, that are local, uh, have been back here. Sorry about the uh, the wiping of the lens, but it is what it is, folks, when it's raining out. It's nice to get a bit of fresh air, it really is. But we're just going to come out here and have some lunch, and uh, that's pretty much it. Just a short little video today. It is almost April, and it's been a snotty cold winter. So I hope to uh, hope to have a lot more ATV content for you guys. Well, that's that. Let's just enjoy the show. Going okay, through some mucky water. Get a little bit of a uh, little bit of GoPro footage here. Get some scenery of the misses behind me. expect any different now this is that spot where there's all the old asphalt asphalt roads and let's just go like this we're gonna go like that and we're gonna go like that get some of mrs. brute Right in there is where the boys did the uh, the burnouts when uh, when Mike at look at this trail here. Hold on now, we're just going to turn this bad boy off, and we're going to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Back there was where uh, my buddy Mike from uh, Scotian Off Road. Link in the description. Uh, did some cool burnouts on his old Honda Talon. He's got a. He went to the dark side and got a Can Am, but that's all right. I still like him. But, uh, but yeah, he uh, he had a Honda Talon, which was just a mean bike. But he got another mean bike. It's a Can Am. I don't know Can Ams. Save my life. But uh, it's super duper nice. He uh, he got it stuck. So I'm gonna link the series of, uh, of videos below. Took him two or three days to get it out. Oh, got a duck down here. Watch yourselves. There we go. I got a new uh, I got a new GPS. Uh, 
Garmin GPS map 64S and I got uh, the backwoods trail maps with it and I gotta tell you it shows you everything like you can see we're coming up to a sand pit up here and you can see on the GPS itself it looks like a sand pit so this is the sand pit and you've seen me jump around here many times in the past so let's uh, let's just do a little loop. I know Mrs. Mrs. Brute enjoys herself doing this wherever Mrs. Brute is. Where is Mrs. Brute? Did I lose her? Oh, there she is. I'm gonna scare the shit out of her. <laughs> she didn't know where I was. We've spent our time doing this. You've seen a million videos. Alright, so we're going to go here. We're at the sand pit. And we're going to go down to a real, real pretty dam. It's not a dam. It's like where a lake turns into, uh, I think it's the Ingram River. right down this little hole in the woods here real beauty spot be a great place to camp and you can fit a side-by-side -side down here I think but be, ooh, be cautious because excuse me I have the hiccups again I get the hiccups every time I ride uh, yeah it's really nice sheltered forest so it's misty and raining so I thought, ooh, look at these weird footprints. Hold up. Shoot, I ran over them. What are these? What are these? That's a big footprint. Looks like a dog. Somebody has a big dog, maybe. Because I saw... A human boot print there. Oh, I was just checking to make sure it's no bear. Because the bear might like the chili I'm cooking. Wait till you see it. You guys are going to be jealous. Can of dirty old Heinz chili, I think it is. But it's the extra spicy stuff, so. It's the extra. Oh, look at the trees that fell down here. Wow. Yeah, a lot of trees fell down here since uh, since uh, since we were here last. All right, so here's where we're gonna eat our lunch. We're gonna eat it right over there. And uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll talk to you on the on that camera there. Holy smokes, folks! The uh, the water is really high. Usually. You can at least get out on that rock. Look at the garbage. Some pathetic human put there. Look at it. Look at the water rushing by. Let's go up on this rock here. This is where we'll have lunch. Wow, look at this. This is awesome. Look at how it goes from somewhat calm to raging rapids in about 50, 60 feet. Look at that. Look at the water, water rushing over that rock there. It's got its own waterfall. That's absolutely beautiful. So found a little found a little mossy spot here we can oh, sit down in the moss and have a somewhat a somewhat a flat place to cook right there like that so here's what I brought I brought my backpack and my backpack has a 
Sobe's bag with some nan bread. Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, I forgot. There we go. We got some Campbell's chili hot and spicy. We're going to share that. And we got a drink each. And we're going to pack. We are going to pack out what we packed in because we aren't jerks. So, like that. Got a couple spoons. And the most important part is the no can opener. So I'm going to, oh, also, I just want to show you guys what I have here. I always have this in my buggy, which is this here. Is a little Pelican case with an emergency kit in it. And let's open it up and I'll show you what's in it. So there's emergency blankets, flashlight, and a lighter, and a knife. So I'm going to be using this lighter to uh, band-aids, glasses, cleaner, and i uh, got some gauze wrap and some pepper spray there, just in case somebody tries to get frisky in the woods and uh, brute force exploring having it, they get, they get sprayed. So I also have this always in my buggy. So this is a, bear with me one second. No, nope. this is a little dish. Oh, look, um, I have a fire kit in, inside this. So there is also some butane propane and the bottom, the bottom pot. And I'm gonna put the chili in this. So this here, let me, uh, that's the lighter. Here's a little camp stove that goes on top of this. That's used as a base. And I'm gonna show you this setup in just one, one second. Okay, so this little stove screws on to the propane canister. Oh, there we go. Do a little faster there, brute. That's what they all said, right? Okay, so this comes around like that. And then this is going to be the platform. And put that out like that. So it's got a little something to balance on. This was cheap. This was like four or five bucks on Amazon or AliExpress or whatever you may. Uh... So now we turn this on and Hit the button. This is why I brought my... Nope. Don't trust it. So, this is why I brought my lighter, because the auto-clicky thing doesn't work. So, let's get the lighter out. Actually, the first thing I have to do is get the can ready. First thing I'm gonna do is I am going to get that ready. Just like opening dog food. All right, that goes back over there. And this goes like that, and I'm just going to put that right there. Then we have the hot chili. We're going to dump this in here, shake all the dirt out of it. Oh, look, I'm getting it all over the woods. That's all right. Some. Uh, some squirrel have a time so you can see it's empty there and then I'll take this and I'll put that back in there and we're gonna place this aside and I'm gonna wipe the uh, delicious delicious chili off the uh, off the stove there 
get that ready. All right, that's going. Yep, she's going. Now we are going to take the chili, put it on there, like so, and just be careful. And dig this in a little bit so it's level. And there we go. So we have some chili cooking. Might take a minute because I have it on low. I can feel the heat, which is good. So slow and low, we don't want to be burning the chili, folks. And uh, yeah. under there flames there cooking there's the uh, there's the river and here I am be playing chef brute and I am going to put The nan bread on top of it, that's going to do two things. That's going to keep the heat in and sort of steam the chili. And it's going to heat the nan bread up a little bit. See, always thinking, always thinking. Might crack a, uh, crack a blue menu lime water. Maybe not though. turned up a little bit. There we go. She's bubbling. She's bubbling already, folks. Gotta keep stirring it. Oh, no, it's cooking. I actually should keep a can of uh, keep a can of chili in my buggy so that whenever I want to do this, I can. Because this is pretty cool. Turn it down a little bit. Just warming up. Put the nan bread back on top. Got a little, uh, little second dish for the guest. Look at that, it has a little, little handle on it. Gotta love it, gotta love it. So we'll pour some in there. And then we're 
gonna give this another stirring. Make sure it's nice and warm. Yeah, flame's still going. We're good. Put the bread on top because I took it right out of the freezer. Yeah, you just buy these little uh, these little br propane butane canisters at you know Canadian Tire or whatever your uh, whatever your local sporting goods joint is. And uh, I've had this one for years and never really used it, but today I am, so it's going to be lunchtime, folks. It's going to be lunchtime soon. Might give this a little turning up. Turn it up a little. Yeah, this is a great little tool to have for a trail side lunch. All you need is a can of beans or a can of chili or a can of whatever you're bringing. And uh, one of these, one of these little uh, canisters here and uh, one of these Amazon screw on portable stoves. And yeah, look at this. Trail side cooking. Trail side cooking. Look at her bubbling. Gotta like it. Gotta like it. Keep it stirred up so it doesn't uh, doesn't get burnt. Now how can I heat this up? It doesn't really need to be heated up that much. Yep, she's getting warm. Would you like a drink? Sure. Thank you. There you go. So a pro tip I just developed is if you wrap your bread or something in tin foil, you can use that tin foil to wrap your garbage up so it doesn't get in your dishes so it doesn't get uh, the inside of your bag all dirty on the way home. Now I just got to figure out when it's hot enough. A little bit more I had a taste. Memories. Emergency snack. Yeah. And you can see her bubbling. Good times. I'd rather be here eating a can of dirty old chili soup. All right, here's our lunch, folks. Uh, I'm gonna share some. Oh, you miss this? Oh, that is hot. Ooh, that's hot. I say that's half and half, I would say. There we go, there's my spoon. There's a missus, and she's being shy today. And then we have some of this to dip in. Gonna crack a, uh, a bubbly water. Remember, all this garbage we brought in, we are bringing this out, every penny of it. So, just rip and tear and dip and have some fun. Now, this, like that, and bon appetit. This is lunch with Brute. 
decent. Let's see, can't go wrong with a can of chili out in the woods. And some nan bread for your carbs. Anyway, that was episode number one. Or did I ever do cooking with brute? Did I ever do cooking with brute? Oh, I did once. Yeah, I made uh, cinnamon rolls. Yeah, stone cinnamon rolls. Uh, so now this is episode two of cooking with brute. I hope you enjoyed. I think I might make this regular feature on the channel. Um, showing y'all how my uh, kitchen skills are. So like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. All right, folks, video's not over yet. I'm gonna play a little bit of the river because it's pretty cool to look at. So yeah, yeah watch this.
right, that's all, folks. Like, share, subscribe.